Hello everyone. So today's problem is on superposition theorem. So what was asked in the question? Use the superposition theorem to find voltage V in the circuit shown in below. So we have to calculate voltage across four ohm resistor. So superposition theorem is mainly used when there are two or more than two sources in the network or circuit. So what are the two sources present now in this uh, circuit? One is voltage source and one is current source. So you have to find the response. Response means voltage due to the six volt source as well as three amperes current source. So first we'll find the response only due to six, volta uh, six volts voltage source and then we'll find the response due to current source three amperes. Okay, so first let, let let V is equal to V1 plus V2. So V1 is the voltage when six volts voltage source is acting alone. V1 is the voltage when when six volts voltage source is acting alone. And V2 is the voltage when three amperes current source is acting alone. Now, step one, that means only when six volts voltage source is acting alone, that means you have to deactivate current source. That means current source must be replaced by its internal resistance. That means current source must be open circuited. So step one, when, six volts voltage source is acting alone. So uh, redraw the circuit by open circuiting the current uh, source, six volts. Eight ohm resistor. Now voltage across four ohm resistor is V1. Three amperes current sources open circuited. Okay, now you can find the voltage across the four ohm resistor by two methods. 
one you can apply kvl and then uh, find the current flowing to the circuit and then apply ohm's law to find the voltage across four ohm resistor or you can directly go for voltage division rule so as many of the students are comfortable with kvl uh, rather than uh, voltage division rule i'm going for kvl so Okay. By applying KVL, we get as all the elements are connected in series, same current will be flowing through the elements. So by applying KVL, we get minus six plus. Your drop across a ohm resistor is nothing but current flowing through that into resistance value, I into eight plus four into I into four equals to zero. So we'll get. Twelve I is equal to six. So I is equal to six by twelve implies I is equal to six by twelve. That is point five amperes. Now V one is nothing but voltage across four ohm resistor. So V one is equal to I into four according to Ohm's law. So I is point five into four. We'll be getting two volts. Now then. When three amperes current source is acting alone, that is step two. So you have to deactivate the voltage source. That is, voltage source is replaced by its internal resistance, which is zero. So voltage short voltage source is short circuited. So redraw the circuit when three amperes current source is acting alone. Voltage source is replaced by a short circuit. Eight ohms is there as it is. Now voltage across four ohm resistor is V two. See, now uh, voltage across this four ohm resistor can be find out by applying nodal analysis because all the elements are connected in parallel. You can go for nodal analysis or go for current division rule. So uh, I 
think it's better to go for current division rule because that will be helpful for Norton theorem also. So, what is current division rule? Current flowing through any resistor is equal to total current into the other branch resistance divided by the total resistance. Now, the total current is 3 amperes. So you have to calculate the current flowing through this four ohm resistor. So let that be I2. Okay, let I be the three amperes be the total current. So I2 will be from current division rule. I2 is equal to total current 3 amperes into other branch resistance that is 8 ohms divided by total resistance that is 8 plus 4 or 4 plus 8. So we'll be getting 3 into 8 divided by 12. So 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 and 4 to the is 8. So we'll be getting I2 as 2 amperes. Now voltage across 4 ohm resistor is nothing but current flowing through that resistor by multiplied by its resistance. So V2 is I2 into 4 ohm resistor. So 2 into Four. That is eight volts. Now, last step is to find the total response due to the two sources. So, step three. Step three: total response. Response is nothing but output, which might be current or voltage. V is equal to V1 plus V2. That is V1 is 2 volts and V2 is 8 volts. So total voltage obtained is 10 volts. Thank you.